Shalom, I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadia from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back with another lesson. You know, and Lord willingness to be edifying, you know, and straight to the point. I want to get straight into the scriptures. This is Proverbs 12 and 19. It says, The lips of the truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Right? And let's deal with this scripture uh, on a grand scale of things. Ultimately, the Most High uh, has the lips of truth. And the way that the Most High express, express that is by the mouth of the prophets. Okay? The truth of the Most High... As far as the judgments that's going to happen on this planet Earth, okay, the things that are going to happen in the future, which is prophecy, prophecies being uh, fulfilled in this entire book, okay, is is uh, the word of truth. Now, who words are they? They're, they're the most high words, but... Uh, um, he gave the word to to Yahushai. So Yahushai is the is the word. He's the word of truth. And get uh get some scriptures on that. So we can go to Saint John. I believe it's Saint John. Let's read St. John 4, 1 and 14. It says, And the word was made flesh. So who is this referring to? It's, turn, it's referring to Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly know as Jesus. And the word was made flesh and dwelled among us. And we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father. Who's the only begotten of the, of the Father? Yahawashai, right? It says, full of great grace and truth. So, the scriptures tell us in the beginning was the word. That's uh, St. John 1 and 1, right? So, in the beginning was your... Uh, was Yahweh Shai and the, and the angels? But dealing with Yahweh Shai, Yahweh in the beginning was Yahweh Shai, and then Yahweh Shai came and dwelt in the flesh. So Yahweh Shai was a walking manifestation of of the scriptures. And what is the scriptures known as? The word of truth. Because the Most High gave Yahweh Shai everything, you know. Because we can't leave Yahweh Shai, I mean Yahweh, out the equation when we say um, that the Scriptures is Yahweh Shai. But who gave Yahweh Shai this uh, truth? And the answer is the Most High, Yahweh. Now let's read this. This is Second Corinthians six and and seven. It says, "By the word of truth." by the power of the Most High, by the armor of righteousness on the right hand and on the left. And, you know, you can go and read that, read that chapter or read a verse, a verse above or in a verse below to get, you know, the context of what's being talked about. But I want to bring out this scripture because it has the word of truth in it. What's the word of truth? It's the Bible. Okay. And who's bringing out these words? Because the, these words are not just floating off the page, pages in the people's mind. And no, a person cannot just um, pick this book up, read it, and get the understanding. You have to be taught this word. Okay? And who's teaching the word? The prophets. Now let's go back to... Well, let's bring this out first. 
Amos 3 and uh, 7. It says, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. You see? So the Most High is not is is not doing nothing. He's just sitting on his proverbial throne, so to speak. All right, and he has his servants to do all his work, whether it be the angels or his men that he he set up on this planet Earth to do his to do uh, his will. What to? Oh, I'll say this to speak his words, because everybody's doing the the will of the Father, whether on the right hand on the left okay or the right side or on the left okay and let's go back to the scripture let me let me let me let me say something before i go back to proverbs 12 and 19 so the most high is not doing nothing but he revealed his secrets to the servants to prophets to do what for the prophets to go out and and preach his word to bring out the secrets now, this whole Bible is a secret unto those that don't have the understanding of it. Right? So, Proverbs chapter 12 and verse 19 again. It says, the lips of, of truth shall be established forever. Now, in, in uh, Romans 3 and 3, it says, let every man be a liar or let the most high be true and every man a liar. Okay? So the only way that man can be true or speak truth, let's deal with speaking truth, is through speaking the words that's in the scriptures properly with understanding. All right? Not by us bringing out our own words, how we personally feel about what's going to happen on this earth or anything. Okay? We, have, we speak in the words of the Most High. And when, what's the main thing we're speaking? Prophecy. Because the Bible is a prophetic book. So we, we're bringing out the judgments that's going to befall this planet Earth. And we're bringing out what the Most High is going to, ultimately, what he's going to uh, do. And when, who he's going to set up to rule this planet Earth. All right? So we're bringing out, we're bringing out all this information in the scriptures. And it's, it's the truth. And what we're bringing out is going to be established forever. What does that mean? All the prophecies that we that the, the, the prophets bring out is always going to be the truth. Everything that the prophet said is, is to see the truth does never alters. Truth in general will never alters. What's written in this word is not going to be altered. What was said to come to pass is going to come to pass. And it's going to always stay that way. Now, but dealing with a lying tongue, when you speak lies, lies don't come to pass. Okay? Now, who's the... So, the mouth of the, pro, uh, the Most High are the prophets, which are speaking truth. Who's the lying tongue? The lying tongue, ultimately, is the so-called white man. He's saying what's going to happen on this planet Earth, that his new world order is going to be established... Everything that comes out this bastard's mouth is a, is a fucking lie. Now, he believes that he's going to set up a certain type of world, a wicked-ass world, but that's a lie. Even though he has good intentions on it, or uh, uh, I'm sorry, not good intentions, but intentions. Yeah, to... Uh, He's not lying. When he when Esau says he's going to do these things as far as establish a new world order, he's speaking truth. But it's still a damn lie because it's not going to it's not going to happen. All right. This is the man of man of uh the father, I'm sorry, the father of lies. He tells us that in uh what is that? St. John, the 8th chapter, the 32nd verse, or the 33rd verse. The devil. All right? The father, the father of lies. So, his words going out on the earth, all these damn, every time he get up and speak, whether it's some type of political campaign from the president 
these different uh, politicians, his mainstream news. That shit is but for a moment it's about to be put out. The words that's being spoken right now by the prophets is true and they're going to stand true forever. Because it's not our words, it's, it's the most high. It's his words. So with that, I'm going to end this lesson. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying. Until the next one, Shalom.